Hey, what's up everyone? As you all know, NIST has come up with the new 800-53 Rev5 and it was published in September 2020. So we're going to talk about the changes um, NIST 800-53 Rev4 versus NIST 800-53 Rev5. Let's dig in. So there are 20 security control families and the newly added controls are PT, uh, PII processing and transparency, and SR control families, supply chain risk management. If you also notice here that the S, I'm sorry, the CA control has been updated from um, security assessment and authorization to assessment authorization and monitoring so nist 800-53 rev 5 has new control families uh, pt and sr um, a total of 20 control families we talked about the um, uh, changes or the updates to the CA family um, and here they're talking about controls are now outcome focused and one of the examples they gave was if you look at NIST 800-53 Rev4 um, an example would be the SC10 control network disconnection in Rev4, it says the information system terminates the network connection associated with the with a communication session at the end of the session or after of inactivity. But in Rev5, it goes straight to the point, takes out the information system. It just says terminate the network connection associated with the communication session at the end of the session or after of inactivity so it's more outcome focused then also control baselines overlays and tailoring guidance has been moved to um, SP800-53B, and this is um, forthcoming. Mappings to ISO 27001 and 15408 have been moved. There are also new CF, CSF mappings, that's Cyber Security Framework mappings. Um, all privacy controls have been integrated to other control families such as the PM family. To download the new um, 800-53 Rev5, go to csrc.nist.gov for slash publication slash detail slash sp slash 800-53 slash rev dash five slash final and here you'll see the document and a change here in the name so previously it was called Security and Privacy Controls for Federal Information Systems and Organizations. In Rev 5, it's called Security and Privacy Controls for Information Systems and Organizations. So the word federal has been taken out. So this means that this doesn't just apply to federal systems. Now you could click on local download here to download the document. And there it is. So here we have 
NIST 800-53 Rev 4 and you see that the federal the word federal has been taken out compared to the right where you don't have the word federal on the left you have Rev 4 and you see the list of appendix um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and J. Whereas on Rev 5, we have appendix A, B, and C. So the control summary is on C. We no longer have the appendix for privacy controls and, and some other um, sections that were previously listed on Rev 4. And here is an example of the focused um, controls that I was talking about. So here it says access control enforcement uh, in Rev 4 and it says the information system enforces blah blah blah. In Rev 5 it just goes to enforce approved um, authorization, so it's more focus, more more outcome focus. And here, obviously, is the uh, summary uh, or table of security control families for Rev Four and Rev Five, notably the SR and PT are the um, new controls while um, the CA the word security has been taken out and the word monitoring has been added in so that's it for um, the quick summary of the changes to 800-53 rev 5 if you guys know of any um, changes that I failed to mention, please leave it in the comments below.